it's fall, which for me means cozy season, but also spooky season. And that's why today's TBR video is a slightly massive pile. I also am struggling very much from overwhelm, decision fatigue, too many books to read, too little time. Um, so yeah, I know today's TBR video is going to be very long, but if you want to discover more books, that's perfect. So hello my fellow fantasy book lovers and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Kathy and I love to read fantasy books. So for this pile, there are a few trends that I've taken notice of. The first one is, of course, cozy fantasy. The second one is witches and the third one is of course vampires. So with each of these books you will notice at least one of these trends and most likely more than one together. So the first book on top of my pile and these are in no particular order at all is The Crimson Moth. This was part of the Fairy Loot Young Adult subscription, if I'm not mistaken. This is a very witchy book. Everyone who's read it really loved it, and I'm just intrigued by it. The only thing more treacherous than being a witch is falling in love. The next book is one of my newest purchases. It is Lucy Undying, and this talks about the first victim of Dracula, Lucy. So this is very much a vampire-themed book. Um, I'm not going to read too much into this. I want to actually go blind into this book without too many expectations because for these types of books that tends to be the best way for me. This book is actually a book that my partner bought but who's he kidding? I'm gonna read this one before he does. In this book we follow a girl who works I think as a librarian and one day fire starts in that library and she has to save as many spell books as possible. She ends up saving these books and she actually wants to make sure that people are able to get magic again but this is a little bit illegal so she makes a gem shop as a cover for the spell shop that she has and she also doesn't really like people so that's a little bit like me um, so yeah I think that this is gonna be one of the reads that I do first because it's been screaming at me that I need to read it and that I will love it so this is a mix between cozy fantasy and then the witchy magical vibes. Up next we have The Phoenix Keeper, another new purchase from me. This one was recommended to me as Fantastic Bees but then better actually in a book form with two people who are rivals to lovers and they're taking care of phoenixes of course. After that we have Lady Macbeth and this is a Macbeth retelling or Macbeth inspired book but then in a female form and also a witch's coven type situation if the information that I got was correct. The lady knows the stories that her eyes induce madness in men. The lady knows she will be wed to the Scottish brute who does not leave his warrior ways behind when he comes to the marriage bed. The lady knows his hostile, suspicious court will be a game of survival, requiring all of her wiles and hidden witchcraft to survive. But the lady does not know her husband has occult secrets of his own. She does not know that prophecy girds him like armor. She does not know that her magic is greater and more dangerous and that it will threaten the order of the world. She does not know this yet, but she will. So this is definitely on that more dark or spooky witchy vibe that I love. Up next we have The Hemlock Queen. This is the second book in the Foxglove King, I think, duology. I hope duology. Gorgeous edition. I really liked the darker vibes of the first book, also with the crypts and the catacombs and the city below the city and the dark magic in it. So I hope that this is like as satisfying as book one. Another book that I really hope to get to sooner rather than later is Long Live Evil. And this is the fairy loot edition of the book and I switched out the cover for the alternative version. This book is just gorgeous. It is about a girl that wishes that she could be part of a fairy tale. Her wish is granted, however, she ends up being the villainess in the story and not the heroine. And it's from that point of view that this book has been written and it just intrigues me so much and it looks just beautiful so I'm I really hope I get to this book very soon and then of course the cottage court cozy vibes the honey witch this book again was part of my fairy loot subscription this sounds like a very cozy light witchy read I'm not sure if I will get to this because 
um, the spell shop and this book are apparently similar to each other and I think the spell shop speaks to me more as like a first read of course but who knows maybe I'll get to it as well I just really wanted to include it and like see how gorgeous this gold printing is so yeah I hope I will get to more witchy lighter reads as well this month for the last few books I'm gonna try to go from dark to light the first one is of course a T. Kingfisher book T. Kingfisher has this spooky dark vibe in most of their books and I really love it so if you haven't read anything by T. Kingfisher yet Nettle and Bone was a really good read there's also Thorn Hedge that I really enjoyed and I have more books by T. Kingfisher Fisher and most of them are pretty short reads somehow I just keep forgetting that I have them and just read for other books so my goal is to read at least one T. King Fisher book and I think what moves the dead would be good for this season it also has like the the gory mushrooms with the hands on the top of the book so a gripping and atmospheric retelling of Edgar Allan Poe's classic The Fall of the House of Usher when Alex Easton, a retired soldier, receives word that their childhood friend Madeline Usher is dying, they race to the ancestral home of the Ushers in the remote countryside of Ruritania. What they find there is a nightmare of fungal growths and possessed wildlife surrounding a dark pulsing lake. Madeline sleepwalks and speaks in strange voices at night and her brother Roderick is consumed with a mysterious malady of the nerves. Aided by a redoubtable British mycologist and a baffled American doctor, Alex must unravel the secret of the House of Usher before it consumes them all. So yeah, this, this sounds totally up my alley. Why haven't I read this yet? After that, we have a book that is controversial. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's called One Dark Window by Rachel Gillich. And this is something that I think reminded me of The Mist, the movie where you have the village that is surrounded by the mist, or maybe the, the movie is called The Village. You have this town that is encapsulated by mist and in the mist things happen. There's like big monsters, etc. That's what the synopsis of this book reminded me of. Um, so yeah, I think that is basically what this is about. So I think if this is a little bit dark and spooky, then this will live up to what I hope it will be. Up next, another one of my newer purchases. This is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. This is a witchy school type situation where you get to the school and the only way that you get out is either to graduate or to die. And the main character has like these big powers that could kill out and wipe everything. So the monsters, but also the other students. And like, it's this duology between what they will do. So this is again, a magical read. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a dark magical read, but I love that it's like magic inspired. And I hope this is a school setting because it doesn't really have that class and teacher system apparently that I will enjoy. So we'll see what I think about it and if I actually buy the rest of the series. And finally, we have The House Witch. This is a book series that has more than three books, but I already own three of them. Um, I really hope that these are as good as I want slash hope them to be. These are cozy fantasies. This is low stakes, high fantasy apparently with like a witch, of course. Um, so I'm really looking forward to what these books will be like. I hope to read at least one of them. And if I enjoy them, I of course have book two and three as well. Um, if I like these, I might even buy more of the series, who knows? So this massive pile of books are the books that I hope to read during the month of October. They are all fall and a little bit spooky reads or at least magical. Some of these books have lighter themes than others and some of them I will for sure get to and some of them I'm not sure yet but I just want to have a big pile of books to choose from. All of the books that I've mentioned will be included in the description box of this video and of course feel free to let me know in the comments down below which books do you want to read for the month of October. If you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already and you'd like to be feel free to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week and I would love to have you for every single one of them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.